welcome to this live broadcast, a historical visit to one of Green Basel County's historical cities, the city of e -Dino. We are right at the front of the uh, city hall here, the e -Dino city hall. My name is Ta Yubi Gandet. The breeze, <laughs> uh, it's just a breeze uh, coming from the ocean shores. And so right there stands the mayor. And so let's look at this monument uh, very closely. Uh, let's look at this monument. Uh, this monument was erected to mark the 144 funders of the celebration of the diner. And this city, uh, December 8th, 1976, was established within the administration of Dr. William Ira Talbot Jr., President of the Republic of Liberia. Honorable Joseph M. N. Bayou then was the superintendent of Grand Basel County. Honorable Kuso E. Spiller was then the city mayor of this city and he served as the first city mayor. And names, I believe, are names of members of the city council. So we're taking a tour to see some historical sites here now. And if you look here, uh, the 1839 colonial uh, saved for the ports of Edanon and Basel Cove. This was during the administration of Thomas Buchanan, governor of the Commonwealth of Liberia. Many of you have heard the name Thomas Buchanan, a law follow of Edanon. Then was a deputy collector and that of uh, Charles R. H. Johnson of Edanon, serving as a sub treasurer. And so this is just a front view of the city hall here in e Diner City. And I have been accompanied by the mayor herself and that of uh, the city inspector. And Charles uh, Dempsey is with me, and as uh, Madam Azeta Spiller, city mayor, is also with me. So, this is Tano City was founded in 1832. You can imagine the, 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 the state of Italy is even older uh, than the independence of Liberia. And so, it's quite an interesting uh, scene here on today. And we are just taking a tour now, a historical tour. We are currently on our way to the grave site of President uh, Joseph Kismuth and his wife. They were buried in the city of Edina. And so the uh, city solicitor is currently uh, walking along with me. And he's the one now that has been uh, asked by the city mayor, uh, Mayor Spiller, to take me across uh, to uh, get some of these historical sites uh, brought to your life. This is Africa Actions Network. My name is Ta Yubi Garnett, and we are currently in the historical city of Edan and Grand Basel County, Liberia. And if you are following this broadcast, you can kindly share uh, so that other folks can actually follow and know what we are doing uh, this afternoon right here in Grand Basel County, Edan and City. But let's move on. Uh, we are doing a tour. And uh, this road leads a little Basel, right? Yeah. This is the road that leads a little Basel through Compound 1. Uh, I think uh, this road construction is underway. We've been informed that the side of the project took a couple of years ago, and the project is expected to enter e Diner, but I think the whole of my van the bridge. There's a major bridge work to be done here. So that has been the whole of So we are moving around. Uh, this is e Diner City. This is, this is e Diner City taking a tour. Uh, this afternoon in Liberia, Edan City, the Grand Basel County. My name is Ta Yubi Gandet, reporting to you live from Edan City, Grand Basel County, Liberia. Many thanks to all of you that normally followed Africa, African Actions Network, so to speak. Sorry for the tongue twisting earlier on. And so we are taking this historical tour a couple of weeks ago we were at the uh, former uh, Ducal Palace Hotel, uh, formerly named the Intercontinental Hotel, 
one of the best across Africa. And today we are doing the same thing. We are here at the uh, city of Edina, where we are visiting major historical sites. And so, as you can see, there are inhabitants here. Yeah. Uh, we have been informed by the city solicitor that this uh, city inspector, oh, sorry, sir, uh, that this is a clinic that provides medical services in the city of Edina. You can take a look. This is the doctor's facility. And this is the biggest health facility here, right? We are now moving on to the grave site of one of Liberia's former presidents. And so, please share this post. And it had time that Liberians uh, look at some of these historical features, come back home uh, to help develop uh, their motherland. Those that are out there, investors, those that have interest in tourism, you can also make use of said opportunity to come and visit and, and pay a courtesy visit to Liberia, have an excursion uh, to enjoy some of the historical futures of our country. And this is the house, the now demolished house of Liberia's former president, Joseph G. Chisma. Now it's abandoned, uh, demolished. This is the home of Joseph G. Chisma. of Liberia's former president. And he was buried right, right at the back of this building. We are just beside. This is the structure that accommodated or sheltered one of Liberia's former president. This is a grave site of Liberia's, one of Liberia's former presidents. This is a grave site. As you can see, he was uh, buried. His wife was laid to rest right beside him. I've been informed by the city, city inspector that the deceased here has been married a chisman. This is where he is, his wife, and later rest right beside him. And this is the caretaker there walking. Right beside him is the city inspector. And so this, <laughs> this is just the entire uh, compound of one of Liberia's former president. Now they appear to be very abundant and kept all these historical areas that some of our kids are currently learning about Liberia's former presidents can actually visit to have an discussion 
and believed in their history. And so we have to move now. And the caretaker asked me to get the entire front view of this structure. And so we are we are now moving to get the entire front view of this structure. And he's trying to take me through. Uh, he's trying to take me through this afternoon. So let's move on. Yes. Okay, we have two. So let's go. Uh, we are entering the home of like one of Liberia's former presidents, uh, Joseph James Chisma. Uh, he was born in this city of Edina. This is the front view, right? And so we see there's a current condition of Liberia's common president resident, Joseph James Chisma. Yes, very unhappy. Crisis. Okay. So I just thought to uh, speak with the caretaker just for two minutes. Uh, welcome to Two Radio, sir. Welcome. Yeah. Your name? Jonathan S. Dawson. Jonathan Dawson, I've been informed that you are a caretaker here. Yes, I am. Okay, so how are things been like? Uh, looking at the home, at the degree, are very clean, but the home is a bad Are you been compensated for the job you do here? No. I'm not doing normal. I'm not compensated. Your name again? Jonathan S. Dawson. How long have you been uh, taking care of this building? Almost five years. Five years. Almost, almost five yes. years, but you are doing it voluntarily for now. Voluntary. Or no one is coming your way. No. Okay. Or like a bottle with you now, you can come back sitting. That's all. And we are trying to find a well that he used to fetch water from. Uh, taking a tour uh, and eat down on uh, this afternoon. So let's move on quickly. Uh, find a well where our former president used to fetch water. And so that is what we are trying to locate now. Wow, we have to. This is the well, trying to get a real view of it. This, this is where he used to fetch the water. Okay. This is the well that he used to fetch water. Oh my word. This is all called monkey apple, right? No. Okay. So this is the well. It's a very deep. In. Okay.
and we are now leaving the home and create site of one of Liberia's former president, Joseph James Chisma. Still moving on uh, this afternoon in the city of Edano. A very historical city it is. Uh, we are moving on, moving on gradually. As I said earlier on, as you can see from afar, this is the uh, loan health facility here in Edano City that provides health delivery services for residents of this city. And, uh, We are uh, hoping to speak with uh, the mayor uh, at day. You know, as was earlier on announced, there's a road that leads to Little Basel. I've been informed that it's some uh, away from here. There's a loan health facility here. As I said earlier on, if you are following, please share this video. This is African Actions Network, 2A radio and online television. This is a loan health facility here in Edenham City, Grand Basel County. Still touring some of the historical sites here. So, and many thanks to all of you that are sharing this post. Uh, we are so much more honored to have you shared at uh, this historical tour of Eden and City in Grand Basel County. My name is Ta Yubi Garnett. And it's very breezy here. Yeah, the ocean breeze on the allow your camera to stand alone. But it's a very breezy place, the environment. The refreshing air cannot just be uh, overemphasized here. It's so refreshing. Fresh air coming from the ocean side. And so we are still moving on, uh, opting to speak with the city mayor shortly. Uh, to give her one uh, make some public outcry to folks across the world, like during stars, like during, so to speak, of their own. Uh, take in Edano City and what we will envisage uh, to see the city become what will be their own cultural diaspora like dreams, as I said earlier on. We are still moving on, taking this tour. And uh, we are now going to the first Baptist Church in Edano. Mm -hmm. The church was built by President Joseph G. Kisner. The First Baptist Church. First Baptist Church in Dallas City. Hmm. This church was built by President Joseph in Chisholm in okay. the year 1868. Well, we are now here the church. And so you heard the city inspector. And we are moving on to the First Baptist Church built in the city by one of Liberia's former presidents, Joseph James Chisholm, who just visited his home and the uh, interment site of he and his fallen wife, Mary Chisman. So we are now moving to the First Baptist Church. And I cannot overemphasize uh, the fact that E. Diana City has proven that in the Grand Basel County is a land of hospitality in Liberia. They are very hospitable people. They welcome us. They are also taking 12 of us around so as to bring us up to speed for some of these historical artifacts that we are touring today. This is African Actions Network to a radio TV. I'm Tayyubi Gannett, live from E. Dynam City one of the historical cities in Liberia. And we've been informed that the former chief, Bob Gray, was also buried 
in the city. We'll also take a tour at his grave site and monument as well. This is this, this is one of the older structures here as well. Now you see this 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 was just a side of uh, structures in Liberia in the 1800s. This was just this, the design. This structure, this structure that one of the pastor for this Baptist church. This structure reminds me of the dead red in church of the region. So this is a parsonage for this church. Yeah. No, not a parent, a pastor who's it. Oh, he oh, yeah. built it on his own. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it was not built by the church. Yeah, never by the church. Okay. Now, but actually, mm -hmm. under there, you see him being there. Okay. The church was the pastor. So, he came from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And people say worship in this church? Yes. Okay. Wow. And this is the Baptist church, the first Baptist church in the city. And it was constructed according to what had, uh, had been informed by the city uh, inspector by one of Liberia's former president, Joseph James Chisman. It's quite a nice place. Uh, Idiano City is quite a nice place. Uh, Quite a nice place. There we go. There we go. And we thought to uh, bring this to you for viewing. The pastoral rule of the First Baptist Church, that of the deacon rule, as you can see here. As you can see here. So this structure has existed since the 1800s. Mm. So you can imagine from 1868, this is the structure of the First Baptist Church in Edina. And I just thought to ask, um, uh, Honorable Inspector, these pews I'm seeing here, are they new pews or they were here at about that time? Well, thank you for your question, that's a good question. After President Chiefsman constructed this church, then his wife, Mary Ann Chiefsman, reported in Pentecost from the U.S. to be Pentecost in the 1800s. 1800s? Yes. And they still exist today? Yes. Yeah. With, with the iron light. Yeah. Okay. From the 80s? I mean, from the 1800s? Yeah. Oh, my word. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. So from the 1800s and 1900s, now the new millennium, they are still durable and usable. Yeah, they're still usable. Wow, that's excellent. Can you imagine, folks? Uh, quite a historical view. Uh, it is. Up here, they were required to be. They were required to be. Up there, yeah. 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 And that has also been here since the 1800s? Yes. To ring the, okay, to ring the bell. Here's the rope. Okay. Wow. Okay, now we are now leaving the First Baptist Church since 1868. It was established. And uh, you saw the pews uh, right there uh, that the members of the church uh, sit on. It has also been there since the 1800s. So it's quite, it's quite an interesting uh, sightseeing visit here. Uh, how Liberians across the world will see this as a challenge to them to come back home and make Liberia so better. Place. Yeah. It was also for President Joseph Chief Chiefman. Mm. But then later on, Marcus to another man by the name of E. Tyson Wood, 
doing all this, they used to trade, up and they used to trade with Pancona, Piasaba, Cocos, and then come here. And then on here, they were, they were the warehouse. They had a back. They had what? A back. And the used to come in here. Oh, the, the ship you used to come in here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the water right there. Yeah, they were used for the warehouse. They were used to small pack, the cocoa, the piasaba, the pan corner, and what have you. You see? So this uh, house was owned by the late president the late Chisman. Chisman. And then later on, he mugged it to one E. Tyson Wood. Okay. Okay. Wow. And these pillows are still strong. Business. For business, okay. So the the ship used to come and talk here. Yeah, right there. And there you can come from now. Yeah, Sabo, the Coco, the ship. Wow. We are still moving on. Shortly, we'll speak to the city mayor, but we we'll just yeah, need to, yes. if we can just uh, speak to her and conclude. Well, if you may inspect no, she not offer now, she went out there. Okay, so yeah, so that we, we, go there, we going to go Okay, there. so uh but this is just the view. Is this the Mecklen River, uh, St. Yes. John River or the Benson River? Fine. Uh that order will go to the cross from the one that you see going all the way so mm. that is the Melkin River. The Mecklen River. Yes, sir. The one that you see way back there that I really read. That is the St. John River. So the bar mob is somewhere around here. The bar mob is down there. The very important is not there that Benson River. Benson River. Yeah, so there are three rivers into one. Then they enter into the bar mob and go to the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. As the, as the fish. Wow. And then it's the way from there. The wow. Bar mob is over there. And I was just uh, <laughs> excited to have that experience. Uh, I'm afraid anyone will be having such an experience for the first time. I had to close my eyes very tight uh, because it was scaring, but I had to. And so these are local inhabitants here, uh, local occupants of this historical city of Edina. And so please share this broadcast uh, and let Liberians fire and wire follow and see how best they can come back home, especially dance for Liberians to invest in their country. And this one. Hmm. St. John River up there. So you are just pointing at these rivers. How can you differentiate them? Well, uh, certain time when the water gets dry, you will differentiate them because you see the boundary. Oh, okay, they got their yes, own yeah. separate boundary that they flow. There. Water is getting full. so all children, the river part, the water is always red. So, as the water careful, and it rests, or what you can really determine okay. when the water gets dry, you can see the boundary. Wow, interesting times. Like that. Our old health center, the old health center before the okay, wow. At that time, did you got? Burn? No, 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 no. It didn't get burned. At that time, it was mean. And at the Prosper Memorial Clinic, because it was a self ever clinic built by the citizen of the diner. Okay. So after UN came and constructed that one, then they named it Edina Government Clinic. This building was a self ever clinic. But why wasn't this building maintained? Why, 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 why was it just abandoned? No, they, they, because uh, you know, it's not passing. Everything will be more than last week. So how, how long did the building last? Oh, the building uh, Oh, wow, my yeah. word. Yeah. And it has been a lone health facility here. Yeah. And the, stock, the, the pillows that you see behind, are you looking at them now? Yeah, these pillows. Yeah, these pillows. Huh? Our one first president of the Republic of America, he changed T. Smith. First president Smith. Yes. Yeah. His resident is where he was living. President Smith, James T. Smith. James Smith. Yeah. Okay, James Smith, resident, former vice president from for the Republic of Liberia. Oh my God. Okay, and from afar, you can see the city council structure way there. 
where we started from earlier on this afternoon. Zooming in a little bit. So that is the structure there. And Jim Smith, resident, former vice president of the Republic of Liberia. So let's move on. Uh, moving on to Bob Gray. To Bob Gray. Uh, and uh, the city inspector will give us a little detail uh, for your own uh, public consumption, if you may. But I uh, keep sharing this uh, post. My name is Ta Yubi Kalem. I bring you this documentary live from the historical city of Edina uh, in Grand Bassa County. It is Bob Gray monument. Bob Gray. Yeah, but now his grave, as we were told, he was buried in King Gray, Monrovia, Mount Elephante. But Bob Gray was the native chief. When the pioneers came from America and landed as Providence Island, eh? and they began to spread out. When those days there was no government established, they were ruled by chiefs, you know, and Ella. And then Bob Gray, who was the native chief, of this area. So then he got in contact with him and they all negotiated for a place for them to set up. You understand me? And those families that came on board inside were 33, according to history. And those families, I can say, means when they were the Howards, the Moore, the Johnson, the Benson, the Green, the White House you. So the King, Bob Gray's monument. Bob Grace Monument, uh, the native chief. Uh, trying to zoom a little bit to get a clear view of the name. As you can see that Bob Gray, Bob Gray is. These are the details. These are the details. Native chief, yes. Then who assisted on years in settling here. And I see beneath peace be to his ashes. So this is a monument of Bob Gray. Those are following. Uh, you read this in history, Liberians, and this is a monument of Bob Gray. So let's move on now. This is the oldest metal history. Oldest Methodist Church, Thomas J. King, United Methodist Church. And I've been informed that they are now erecting a new structure after uh, so many years, since 1833. And this church, like the Baptist church we visited, these are churches that are older than Liberia, they are than Liberia's independence. Mm -hmm. And so it's a very historical church. It is uh, since 1833, you can imagine. Yes, a uh, little over uh, 200 years, if you may. 
But let's move on uh, to uh, Joseph James uh, Chisman's movement. We visited his home. We visited his grave site, and now we are paying a sightseeing visit at his monument that was erected here in Idanon City in remembrance of him as one of Liberia's former presidents. So we are fast approaching Chisman's monument. This monument. Uh, this monument was erected in honor of President Joseph Chisman when he became the first president of the Lapua Pastor Missionary Educational Convention, where they erected this monument in his honor. But I'm telling you, which then you know, on there, you see everything that I'm telling you. That's an angel at top. Okay. Erected to, to the memory of Reverend Joseph James Chisman, first president of the Liberia Baptist Missionary Convention, appointed April 17, 1880 and served in this position to his death on November 12th, I mean 1896. And that was 16 years after his appointment. So this is the monument, erected in his honor. Let me just take a tour. Uh, and what is this? So this uh, it is a the sample canoe. of the canoe. Canoe. Okay, that's good. Okay. Canoe where she took the pipe for her. I mean the pool for her pipe. First pipe the enemy's window in December one. Work for this year is the national holiday. National holiday. Matilda Nipples Day. Wow. Wow. There is a monument in honor of um, Liberia's former president and the first president of the Baptist Mission. Pastor of the first Baptist church in Edina. Uh, as you can see, peaceful, be that rest. So that is it. And we are now moving on to speak with the city mayor. Yes, let's take a few. Uh, take a view of the Atlantic Ocean. There's a cannon. I, I saw this a couple of weeks ago at the uh, Fulman Ducal Palace Hotel. And so, the Grand Basso Community College. Yes, sir. They have one there. Too. Yeah, yes. So, this has uh, lasted for over a decade now. Oh, decade. Centuries. Centuries. Oh, before oh, I was born, mm -hmm. we were three years, I went to the other one. I, thought, I think you saw it from the city hall. Yes, and I'm seeing another one here. Yeah. So who used to fire them? Well, when they, what did, what did they use the, as the symbol? The small one that is from the city hall, actually, is almost my small body. One former mayor of the city died. Huh? One may fire it, but then they will go to the superintendent office in Buchanan and agree for the gunpowder. And they will get then the gunpowder and they will bring it, and they will stuff it inside that candle. After putting it there, then we will use all this muscle and all the grass and stuff it, stuff it, stuff it. Stuff it. Then the man who will shoot it will put the torch on the long stick, but then left from here. He just hold it. If you go on right to the port that you see it. Come and see what I'm talking about. You see the hole there. Plug in the compiler, the compiler will rest here. Then the stuff will be all type of, you know, stuff. 
Then the man go shoot it, standing like that distant. Yeah, with the fire on the long stick. As soon as he touch it to the hole, then the gun pipe has Oh, wow. Wow. I can imagine it should be very much interesting. So let's move on to the vision. Then thereafter, we speak to the uh, city mayor. And then we'll call it a day. If you are following, you can share this uh, broadcast. Interesting as uh, such seeing visit it is. I heard the African actions. Uh, right here in the city of e And I'm moving around with the uh, city inspector. He's uh, bringing us up to speed with some historic city of e city. And as I said, the hospitality of the nation indeed begins from Grand Ambassador County. And so uh, they are hospitable people. And so we say kudos to uh, manager of patients, Blay Atto. Uh, you, you guys are very hospitable people. So let's move on. This is the uh, Masonic Temple. The Masonic Temple. Yeah. It's currently on ongoing renovation. Mm -hmm. We are now moving towards the Atlantic Ocean. That is the cemetery. That's the Edano Cemetery. Right there. Let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. We may not reach that far, uh, but that is the symmetry right there. And I can imagine what it can be like on the decoration day. Still taking this tour. Interesting such scene facilities. Very interesting such scene facilities. Just approaching the Atlantic Ocean from the city of Edina.
Rasi Balmok. That's a ship uh, on sea. My name is Ta Yubi Ganet. I'll get a company in the, the uh, city. It's been around providing some historicity when it comes to uh, some of the structures that <laughs> I have been able to see for the, for the first time as well. So it's also an discussion about working like the of the speed with structures that can attract tourists to Liberia, structures that can improve the tourism sector of our country. And I hope our folks there at the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism, uh, though there have been some legislation to have tourism uh, separated from the Ministry of uh, Information. Uh, but we hope that uh, they too uh, can pay similar sizing visit or they can use this uh, uh, live coverage as a means to attract investors to come down here to Ibana. And what I've been able to observe from our tour, there are not much inhabitants here. I'm, I'm seeing the homes like uh, from one distance to another, so there are not much inhabitants here, if you may. Oh, well, yes, as we put it, we are not much in the we are much folk in San Diego. That uh, the main, one of the major problems that we are facing in the city, huh? like the education of the city. Education. We have, yeah, we have a, a school here, but it is an elementary school. Mm. And so when the children reach sixth grade and promoted to the seventh grade, they have to go to Canada for further study. Mm. And it's even a problem for them, most especially the parents then that do not have the hand. Imagine. Money for the photo carry a child for parents to pay motor for them to work and go and come every day. So we find out when the children go after the first one or two semester or two hundred that is where we have to track. Mm. So most of the children there are just where we need to our main target we down that we are praying to cover for somebody need to come to our aid to help us to, to upgrade our school a little or two more and level. But now it's elementary. elementary. So you Idano only has an elementary school. Only an elementary school. Since the 1800s. Since the 1800s. Oh my word. Only this is... elementary school. Now you know junior. Yeah. yeah. As I'm speaking, one man later on, I will meet. She was promoted to the seven grade because it was in the half yesterday. Hmm. Now she can't go to space. In Idano, yeah, she has to education. go to Picano. Yeah. Now she has to go to Picano to see for us study. Yeah. I'm going to be all. Writing for us, so we have to pay the boat. Imagine, hmm. The piano city is almost 150 bucks. For you to go and come every day, that's about 400 and 20 dollars. Wow, but the boat is actually one to go, one way to come. The motor boy out there charging you the same one way to go, one way to come. So it's about 400 and 20 dollars every day. And say whoever you can make a negotiation with the city, yeah, and they can give you this arm on the boat. Mm. That, the motor boat. So I agree. I'm gonna join the assets in the city up. That's mean nothing because parents do not have to hear. Whoa, house we are not even or junior house. It's this great. Since the 1800s. Yeah. I want to tell you, I mean, that's another. 
Aber Paul, er war, ich habe nicht mehr wieder das Gut, aber er hat nicht mehr gekommen, ich habe nicht mehr gekommen. Aber er hat nicht mehr gekommen. After the same president, Chichichismo School. Chichichismo Elementary School. Yes, sir. It's a government run institution. Government run institution. Oh, my word. I think we have to speak to the Ministry of Education, local county leadership about this. So it's good to take such a tour, folks following us. You are hearing some of the challenges here. Yes. It's good to take such a tour. People here cannot afford. Uh, Ginny and her uh, used to talk about a secondary education in such a historical city that had been in existence even before the independence of Liberia. So this is where we are, a dynamic city. So it was good we uh, thought to pay this. No hand, and so currently he's not, he's not in school. Oh my word. So it's quite difficult, yeah. Quite difficult for parents. And so, if they cannot, uh, if they as parents, uh, so to speak, cannot afford to send these kids to school, what can be the next option? Well, they, 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 the children just said, uh, uh, how to maintain what they're not supposed to do. Hmm. Yeah, you see, maintain what they're not supposed to do. Can some of them be resort to? Uh, fishing, uh, yeah, farming, fishing, all day, they just around the water area, you know, fishing, just to pay the way, maybe they're on there, or on there, so they keep that day going. Mm. Okay. So you think if we had a junior high school, you're at least from there, you know, where you are, from that thing. Mm. I think we'll have, where you're going to be here. Okay, I think we have to speak with the city mayor now. It has been a wonderful tour. And so this is, a lodge, uh, I guess it's, it's a guest house uh, yeah. uh, in the city of Edina. This is one of the uh, uh, beautiful sculptures that I really praise and I admire. So I don't want to just point one to the layer. And so uh, don't just want to point onto the layer. But no, it's not a problem. Uh, the mayor too needs some recreation. <laughs> okay, so we now have the mayor with us, and so uh, let me see. Uh, I'm doing great. Many folks across the world are currently uh, at you, are watching you. And so you have to tell them a little bit about yourself, uh, your portfolio, your name, and if you may. Thank you very much. Welcome. My name is Arceta Chispilla. I can sit in the Dino City since May. I got sick because when I took over, it was not an easy thing, but I got things that the people are found working with. I take got things. We all understand that we are working to make sure you can. It's one of the new things you have to do. What are they doing? Uh, I took over a metal ferry building that started as a person who knew nothing at the time. And I think I said, I'm going to do a new boat. I'm going to do a new boat. Yes, this is a guest. Wow. I'm going to do a new boat. I'm going to do a new boat. And this is what I did. On it, for us. I'm just sorry. As I said, he did not take you to the school, Chichichismo mm -hmm. School, the elementary school here that started. I mean, uh, uh, was for the 1840, a state elementary. And as I speak to you presently, I'm fighting now to carry it to junior high. Okay. And since 30 plus years ago, there was no city police. Since I took over, I found 
to the police. I mean, a lot of things we have been coming. I have been doing, trying my best, doing some renovation on the city hall. The watch for team at night, everything because we have been funny in. If they call it to with citizens coming in, people see doing some renovation on pump. We all work together and making sure that, that our event I not come back to a city that people will love to come home, to come back home and enjoy our, our city. Okay, so I can't to ask you this uh, question which is very much important i'm so much more concerned about uh, how you uh, get funding to sponsor some of these projects that you receive subsidies from government okay like we go to city uh, county city and they gave us five thousand. Just five thousand. Just five thousand. This year, by our river, we have our own ferry system set up, and we, we built our own boat. In fact, machine boat. We built our boat and to that boat and the ferry system. That's how we managed to run our city, like buying chemical because the grass issue every three months we spray the city. I think you can see the place. Mm. We spray the city and. That's how we get a long bar, materials and other things for our city. Top yes, for the teachers. Yes, but I'm we so much more concerned. Teachers, uh, we we pay the police. Mm. We pay our police. They are not on payroll. How many police do you have currently? We have we have five, four police here, and they are not on payroll. Mm. Which the city tries to pay every month. We have volunteer workers. Five workers that brush the streets, spray the place. We pay them, they are not on payroll. Okay, so uh, let's move on. I, I'm, I'm somewhat more concerned. There is a big ferry uh, that is currently on a river. Yes. I guess it was done. Uh, who controls the fund raised from that ferry? Thank you very much. You see this ferry? <coughs> 2017, when Joseph Walker came in our city hall, they promised us. We saw the needs of the Italian people in his surrounding. We saw the need of a ferry because, was, as I said, we're using our billboard machine. And he came and he saw the need of a ferry. And he, he came and promised us a ferry. But later, 20, 22, he came in to to this ferry and, and I was invited to the program along with my citizens here. My officials, we all went and we attended the program. Just to know that Joseph Walker thanked this ferry to, to the ferry of Grand Pass County, still at Edino. Hmm. And the people were carrying it all over. Donated to Edina's city. But later when he came, everything was changed and he said he donated this ferry to Ambassador County. And this ferry now is being run by the foundation. The Baka Foundation. Baka Foundation, Young Play Cares Foundation. Worker Foundation. And so you, you, you don't get subsidies from the uh, operation? 
No, 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 no. Not yet. No. We even put a hot to this very before. Oh, okay, the 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 the, the representative for this district is at that time he was not in the and when he came, he called me on phone. I mean, I want for us to discuss it, but we cannot discuss this on phone. Again, one day, he was invited. He came, he says, about anything in the interest of it, I know I'm with you. And we went and were able to solve the problem, but there was no fruitful result from this very issue. And we came by, he said, oh, try me, let's try the ferry for another month. And I will make sure we bring up the, because I told her, I said, I want to see the MOU for this ferry. Mm -hmm. Let's sign this MOU, like it died now. And we cannot say this, since it was thanked over to Grand Battle, I think the two cities should sign. So we all said you a go to a and we sign it. So the diner can benefit from it very and we'll see what we can do. We said, okay, we said since this ferry was time over the grand so I think this city and the superintendent office should be discussing about this ferry, but not foundation. And I I don't think the city is going to work with the foundation with a ferry issue. Because it was turning over to Grand Basel. So let this superintendent office and the two cities run the foundation. That means run the, the, run the ferry. So this is where we stand today. Hmm. It's a very serious. Very issue. issue, very, very serious. Okay. Very, very, very serious. That is one of the serious uh, issues that uh, yes, total raised uh, from my own observation. Mm -hmm. But as much as possible, are there other challenges you care to inform the, the world about? A lot, a lot of challenges we are facing here. We have the, as, as I said, our school was founded since 1840, and we have been. Come in to help us see how best we can take this and I think how cost it is it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are appealing to people out there, our citizens out there, NGOs, government, other and, and, and people out there to come and help us to renovate our school before school get open. That will be able to carry this school to a junior high level. Because this school was named after the president JJ Chisman. This is a JJ Chisman elementary school. Mm. Yes, I sorry did not go there to see, but since I took over, I've been doing some work on our school. And we are trying our best to make sure a first time in history for school to take government exam. I registered the school and were able to.
five minutes live. So this place is a historical place. And we want for people to come and help us so open this set it up. We want people to come and help us open. He said for us, as I said, we're only depending on beside what government gives us here, the county level. We depend on our ferry here. And we have the, 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 the foundation ferry running. Can you imagine? Plus our bill books. So it's not easy for us. How much we will make a day? You got many people find the ferry book. Find the ferry, yes, exactly. So so we are not really getting anything for this city now. So we're actually for as I said, we have a lot of volunteer records. Here, that pay every month and it's not easy for us so we're asking people to come in and help us our in the actions network my name is Sarah Yubi and I'm coming to you live from Edino City and now we have the city inspector your name sir I'm Charles A. Benson city inspector Edino City Okay, Mr. Benson, what have been your own role as a city inspector and what have been your own observation and challenges when it comes to running the affairs of this city well, I thank you for the question. Uh, my role, I pay to keep the uh, city clean. People keep their surrounding clean, make sure that the toilet, the bathroom, everything is that. Uh, it's my position in the city. But uh, I told you my challenge is. Which I spoke about on the educational level. The school here, when I stop at past six grade, Right now, they gave the children the put car on yesterday. That's one student then that was promoted to the seventh grade. But we don't have the area here for them. So when parents try and raise us, and maybe after the first and second period, they don't have to try because uh, parents are not well equipped to pay transportation across the water, pay transportation on motorbike to go to school and come out every day. So when you find out that I'm going to drop out into a stream on them, give yourself the entire. The trap. So I see most of our children in the, in the city, they are not going to they want to go to school. And parents do not have the hand. And so we are appealing to all our government officials, uh, NGO, anybody that can come to our assistance uh, at least to help us to elevate our school. Yeah. Our children there will not be going up. You know, and there are more challenges like that in the city here. Okay, if I leave you lastly, we know that you are there to probably enforce or to ensure that the city ordinances are, are here to at every point in time. Do you have challenges uh, ensuring that people follow the city ordinances? Yes, you know, in every case, some people are not about it. Some people always, you know, act that type of way. But we try our best with our city police to put everything under control. Law and all in this community, there are certain things there. Is supposed to do and not supposed to do. So you are called doing this, you will be arrested by the police, be charged in power court. Before I leave you, uh, what is the major source of income for those that reside here? Well, child, I only that river, my dear brother. Only that river. Then we go there, we sell basket, we fishing, we sell tax, some people who are not able to buy the point coal and make farm. So the, the main source of income that we have on the South of the river. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you have a market ground here? No, not at all. There is no market ground here? No, not at all. So people uh, move on to Picano to, to get there? Yeah, everything that we want, we have to go to Picano for it. I hope people check out there, you know, the petty, petty shop where they sell it, pepper, so, you know. Got it, dry rest, market. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Okay, thanks uh, so much to uh, the city inspector, the city mayor of Edano City, Madam Spiller, and all of those following this uh, broadcast. Thanks also for sharing. This is African Actions Network. My name is Ta Yubi Garnett.
come into your life from the historical city of Eden on Grand Basel, County Liberia. And uh, many thanks to uh, Madam Patience uh, Blay Atu, who sat at control and coordinated this broadcast from Pennsylvania and the USA. And as it is now, we have to call it a day on this historical tour year of Eden on City. So if you are there studio, you can take control. My name is Tara Gannett, bidding you a wonderful rest of the Tuesday from Liberia. Thank you.